From this moment on, only nine persons have access to his documents, including the president, the vice president, and the secretary of state. Understood? My name is Michael Daskevich, Gazeta PL. Today with me are Mr. David Forden and Mr. Aris Papas. Mr. David Forden is a former man of the CIA who had been Richard Kuklinski's contact person in Warsaw. And Mr. Papas is a former CIA analyst uh, who was responsible for studying and assessing uh, material that came from behind the Iron Curtain including those materials provided by Jack Strong. It's nice to meet you here, nice to have you here. Is it difficult to uh, withdraw your true name from a guy who becomes your friend for so many years, Mr. Forden, but uh, I assume that this division between the professional relation and, and the friendship relation has to be, had to be done at that time? We lived with it, and at some point, you know, some years later, after the family came out, I invited them to dinner or we had dinner at their place and I said it's time for me to tell you that my name isn't really Daniel that's my son's name my name is David but by then we were we were fast friends I'm a case officer he is this new source valuable we know that and normally case officers when they're meeting a new source they have time to establish rapport and they are trained to establish rapport that means asking you know courteous questions how was your trip out uh, you're married how how is the wife and the family how are the children we didn't have time to waste so as i say he was brought in through the door saluted shook hands said, I'm Daniel from the CIA, and then instead of asking, you know, how was your trip out, and how are the wife and kids, I said, let's get to work. And he said, yeah, let's get, he didn't want to waste time either. Are you, and were you really 100% totally sure at the time that, uh, and, and now that uh, Ms. Uh, President Carter's and Mr. Brzezinski's actions, based on what Jack Strong provided, uh, really, uh, Changed the, changed the history so much that they prevented a very probable war. I'm convinced that certainly Colonel Kuklinski's information contributed to all the decisions that were being made concerning how we would adequately defend Western Europe against the Soviet attack. Kuklinski was doubly good in that. You can take a photograph of something and know something is there, but you don't understand why it's there and why that number of things were there. You don't understand the decision process. Sometimes people can provide you with their opinions of why things happened, but the, the real benefit of Colonel Kuklinski's incredible professionalism was that he was able to provide us uh, with, with sound professional judgments that did not reflect personal prejudices on his part. Clearly, he was one of our most important sources and certainly was a unique source. And the, the principal attributes um, that he brought were his access and his objectivity. He was able to explain things to us in a very clear fashion, which allowed us the ability not only to know what was happening inside the Warsaw Pact, but to understand why it was happening. That the Polish people have an opportunity to have a controversy is precisely what this was all about. Yes, he was a traitor as far as you look at Poland at the time. Was it a legitimate free country? No. It was a vassal state of the Soviet Union. And he was doing his best to betray that arrangement and to cause Poland to become free again.